Hello guys and welcome to the last part of this lesson. We have example number four, ellipse. Okay, so let's proceed. Okay, so we have this example. Find the standard equation of the ellipse with its center at the origin and a length of minor axis. The length of the minor axis is 6 and a foci or the foci are at 0 and positive negative 2. Okay, so if you try to look at the given again, so we have the given center at the origin, so it's very easy, it's 0, 0. Uh, length of the minor axis, so length of the minor axis is 6. So this is actually the entire length, or the 2B, twice B. So to get P, we simply divide it by 2, which is 3. Okay, and the foci, so again, the movement is from 0, 0. And obviously, if you try to compare the F, Okay, the focus for the foci to our center, so the movement is the vertical. So we are sure that the uh, standard equation that we're going to use is that of y having the bigger constant. Okay, so this would be our equation, standard equation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so uh, obviously C is 2. Okay, so we're missing A. So for the missing A, we simply use the formula again. So C, uh, sorry, C equals square root of A squared minus B squared. Then using substitution, so we have C equals square root of A squared. Uh, sorry, this is not A. Uh, where is it? This is not C. Sorry, this is not C. Okay, so this is already... Now, what's this? This is already, what is our C2? Okay, 2. A squared and B squared is 9. Okay, so getting the square of both sides. So, we have 4 equals A squared minus 9. So, this is 9. And uh, using the properties of equality. So, going to the left. So, 4 plus 9 would be 13. Okay, so we have a squared equals 13, getting the square root, so we have a equals square root of 13. Okay, so I'll just erase some parts. So again, it a is square root of 13. So I'll just erase here. Okay, you may pause the video for the solution. Okay, so here I just erase it here. So we have now A, B, and C, and we have also the H and K. So using this standard form, uh, vertical, using the vertical standard form of the ellipse. So we have our K is 0, so we have Y squared all over A squared is square root of 13. A squared would be the square of the square root of 13 is just 13. Okay, plus x minus 0 is x squared all over, okay, all over, we have b is 3, so 9. This is equal to 1. So this is the standard equation. Okay. So this is the end of lesson 4. Thank you for watching the videos. And I hope that you learned a lot. Okay, so for the next video, we'll be having hyperbola. So do not worry about hyperbola because hyperbola is kind of similar to ellipse. Uh, there are just some changes and uh, small changes for hyperbola. That will be for next week, week number three. And this will be the last lesson for week number two. So I hope to see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.